All right, so this is our warm-up review for the day. I'm going to go over these two questions. After we go over them, you're going to glue it in your journal. Most of you could figure out these answers in your head. However, when we do these problems on a test, it's going to ask you to recognize which picture will show you the answer. So not only getting the answer, but how you got the answer. So let's look at each of these questions. So question one, and again, I'm going to emphasize for the 9,000th time, identifying what's important, what you have to answer, drawing a picture if possible, drawing an equation if possible. That's going to be the difference probably about 10% on a test. So if you get a 40, if you'd have actually done these things, it'll be a minimum of 10% higher. Some of you are looking at your grades and are not happy with them. But when I give the papers back, I don't see this kind of stuff on there. And I show it every time when I'm going over them. So first, let's look. The Smith family had one half of a pie left. It's important to know they had one half of a pie left. If you didn't identify that in some form or fashion and you get it wrong, I feel no sympathy because we're in the 9,000th day of school and you're still not listening to me. There are five siblings. They each receive the same amount. I always forget which goes first and receive. I before E. But then it's sucked after C. So I always spell it wrong when I'm typing, but it automatically fixes it. They each receive the same amount. <coughs> And how much did each receive? E I. All right, are there any answers looking at them? Olivia, do you think you can eliminate right away? Yeah. One, one third. One third, why? Okay, because if you added one third plus one third plus one third plus one third, you're going to get more than a half. If you think about the same thing with one fourth, if you add that together five times, you're going to get more than a half. <coughs> you can probably pick the answer out without doing any math by just thinking in your head. So, Ivan, what answer did you pick? Uh, I picked one tenth. One tenth. Okay, that is the right answer. But you have to be able to recognize how it might be seen <coughs> on a test. If it said which picture shows you the answer. We have, this is our pie. We built it in a straight line because that's what I think is easier. That's what normal people do. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's not what normal people do because I'm not normal. Okay, so if we think of this like a number line, like a number line, we have to divide this half into, into fifths, but which means we have to divide this half into fifths too. The trick is making sure that you divide the whole pie into fifths. So we have one fifth, Two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and one half is five fifths. We have one, or we have six fifths, 
No, we don't. Yes, four, five fifths, six fifths. Am I doing that wrong, aren't I? So we have now oh, one half. We have one half fifth there, another fifth. Okay. So if we divide it into fifths, because there are five people, if we think about what we're dividing, we're dividing the pie. The pie is what's being divided. And so we've divided this each into fifths. And then you have to figure out how many total fifths there are. And how many total fifths are there? Ten. ten. So there are ten total fifths. So if we're talking just about half of the pie that we're splitting, and there are ten total fifths, how much, how much is each section going to be worth if we're splitting the half? One, one fifth. No, not one fifth. There are ten totals in a whole pie, so they're getting a part of the half, so they're getting one tenth of it. One tenth of it. So if you see a picture that's divided like this, because there are ten sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they've defined, instead of dividing it in half, they've divided it into tenths. Now we only have half of the tenths left. So they each get one-fifth. I'm sorry, they each get one-tenth, because they're only getting part of the whole and then part of the half. Now, if you had to look at it, you can look at how many loops, then you can figure out how you're, sp how you're spacing it out, and then each one of these is going to be one-tenth. So this is one-tenth. This is one-tenth, because it's divided into ten equal pieces, if I could draw correctly. Because if we added these together, 10 tenths would equal 1. 10 tenths would equal 1 pi. But we're splitting just half of it. And if you say 5 tenths, that's not going to equal 1 half. Or 5 tenths is going to equal 1 half. 5 tenths is going to equal 1 half, sorry. Ignore some of my speaking. Okay, but you have to be able to recognize the drawing. Recognize the drawing. And if you looked at your answer choices and you said one-fifth was our other answer choice, one-fifth added together five times is one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, five-fifths, and five-fifths equals one, so it can't be one whole. Yes, ma'am? Couldn't you also um, multiply uh, five by one-half? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, five by one-half. If you multiply that, five times that would one be half, ten. That would be ten. that's going to equal ten. five over one times one half, that's going to equal five halves. It's a division problem. So the actual algorithm, the equation, is going to be one half, because you're dividing the pi, one half divided by... Five, and I've shown you. Well, I'll erase this because this isn't right. I've shown you the the algorithm, the equation for this. Is you keep the first fraction, you change from division to multiplication, and you flip the second fraction over. So five is the same as five over one. One fifth, sorry. And then it's going to equal one tenth. So if you're, if it asked you. Which equation could you use? This would be the equation. If it asked you what picture you could use, this would be the picture. But you have to recognize the difference between these two. Of how you cannot just pick one tenth without knowing which picture shows you one tenth. All right, let's look at the second one. And again, when I walked around, I saw a lot of not identifying what's important. All right, so the second one said a relay race is one-third of a mile. That's the race. 
and be ran by four fifth graders. Ran by four people. So how far for each one? How far for each person? Again, this is a division problem. What are we dividing? The kids? Or are we dividing the race? The race is being divided. So the one third is being divided. Yes, ma'am. Why are you going when I'm trying to do math? The one third is being divided. So if we have our number line... Zero to one. Zero to one. We have one third, two thirds. Okay, and we have to take each third and divide it into fourths. Okay, then we have to figure out. How many thirds are our total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve. If I divided my one thirds into four parts, there's going to be a total of twelve. Am I correct? Yes. So each person is one person, two purple, three people. I think I put an extra line here. That's my problem. I put extra lines in there, so ignore that. But they're each running one third of the whole race, they're each running one twelfth. But you have to identify the fraction, the number line. <coughs> if we're dividing one third divided by four, would be our actual equation algorithm. Situation stuff. And, um, each of those little um, jumps are now worth like one twelve. Yep, each of these little jumps are worth one twelve. All right, questions on those two. All right, if you're homesick today, watch this, please.